Hi, this is Leonie from Spines and Splines. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remesh the type of wooden screen printing frame that has a routed groove which holds the mesh in place without staples. These are the screens that come with Speedball's really popular beginner screen printing kits. I'm not sure how common this type of screen is in other brands or makes of screen, but if you did want to make your own screen printing frame from scratch, I think this type of design is the way to go, as you don't need to damage either the frame or the mesh with staples. To remesh one of these screens is really super easy. You just need to cut some screen printing fabric slightly larger than your frame size, flip the screen over to the back, lay your mesh in place and then tap the cord into the groove all the way around. Some people like to start at the top of each corner and pin each corner in place and then move around the frame but I like to do this in the same way that I would stretch a painting canvas, which is to start at the centre of each edge and work my way backwards and forwards all the way around the frame so that I know that the mesh is being stretched evenly. I did start this one by tapping in a corner of the cord first, but that's just because I'm reusing my old cord and it's already got the corners bent into place and I wanted to make sure that it was in the right spot when I got to that position. The way that I work with these is to push the cord in very lightly all the way around the frame so that the mesh is just held in place and then when I'm happy that everything is where it should be, I go back and I push the cord all the way into the groove and this stretches the, the mesh really tautly over the screen. If you like, you can use a little wooden shim with a hammer to tap the cord down, but I find it just as easy to use this metal ruler that I have, which has got a rounded end that I can roll back and forth on the cord to gently press it in. You could also use the rounded handle end from a piece of cutlery like a spoon or a fork to do the same thing. If you did want to make your own screen printing frame from scratch like this one, you would just need to make a wooden frame and then use a router tool to cut a groove all the way around. Speedball sells spare cord that you can buy, but I believe that something called spline cord will do the trick and should be available from hardware shops in the section where they sell materials for window screens. When choosing your mesh for the frame, there are a few different options available and what you choose will depend on what you want to print. These speedball kit screens are stretched with a 44T mesh straight out of the box, which is fairly open and it's perfect for printing fabric and basic designs that don't have a lot of fine detail. This mesh count is also excellent for metallic inks as the pigment particles in those inks are generally larger and won't go through a finer screen. As the thread count of the mesh increases, the more finely detailed your designs can be. And that's the beauty of this particular type of cord locked screen as well. You can easily change your mesh out to whatever is the most suitable for the project that you're working on. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'd love you to join me over on Patreon if you found this video helpful, as every little bit of support there really helps me make these videos as best as I can. And I've got quite a few tier levels available with different reward options for you. Please hit like and subscribe on YouTube and comment with any ideas or suggestions for future videos. See you soon. Cheers.